Okay, it's Sunday night, um, March 15th, 2020, and um, the video that I made about uh, the coronavirus and vitamin C, keeping vitamin C intake level, um, seems to be doing much better than most of my videos do. Um, I made that video about three days ago, so this is a similar video regarding what I chose to buy um, in preparation for um, the potential that we might have difficulty getting foods from grocery stores. Um, these are, I'm going to share with you two meals. One, the meal that I made yesterday for myself, um, and then the meal that I'm making tonight for myself. I, I got home from work about an hour and a half ago, um, took my shower and um, set this up. I cooked my fish here, my fish sticks or fish fillets. Um, so this will be tonight's dinner, but first I want to share with you what I, what I chose to buy at um, the Jewel uh, grocery store. And the Jewel grocery store probably isn't, you might not have a Jewel grocery store in, in your neighborhood. I think that's mostly a Midwestern or maybe an Illinois thing. Um, but I'll look at the Monopoly game um, board to see if, if maybe that will tell me what the other names are that um, the same chain might go by. So that if you don't have a jewel, you might still be able to find these um, pop stickers, these BBGo organic pop stickers. Um, even if you don't have a jewel, or you might be able to find these O organic bags of spinach. I think it's a pound. I'll, I'll flip it in a second. Yes, it's a pound of frozen spinach. Um, and then probably, even if you don't have a jewel or its equivalent, you could probably still find the Lee and Perrin's um, low sodium version of Worcestershire sauce. Huh. Worst, worst, Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Um, so yesterday, this was the meal that I made. I, I boiled these pot stickers. Um, and then I used the hot water after, after all of them started to float was when I put them into a plate, this exact same plate. Um, and then I covered, and then after I took them all out of the hot water, I still had the hot water left. So I put the spinach, the frozen spinach into that hot water. And then, um, um. I was able to take the spinach and run it through, what do you call those little screens? Um, nuts. I don't remember what it's called, but it's it's got a handle and then a screen and you, you, you pour the thing, you, you pour the stuff through a strainer. I poured it through a strainer and then just put the, the chopped spinach right on top of the pot stickers and then added the Worcestershire sauce on top of the spinach and that was a wonderful, wonderful meal. Um, so one suggestion that I would have if you're looking for what's a good thing to stock up on, uh, these are on sale. I think it's only like 50 cents off right now. Um, but it's a good thing to try, super convenient. You know, sometimes when I leave, it's very frequent that I work two jobs in the same day. And when I leave the one job, I don't have a lot of time to fuss about making a meal. This is basically just boiling water, putting them in there, and then putting this right into the hot water right after that, and then dumping this on top of it, or sprinkling this on top of it, and you got yourself a nice meal, a nice healthy meal. Um, so that was yesterday. And then today, um, I cooked these, oh, I forgot to get the box. Here it is. So this is the box, and this is a, a really good sale right now. Um, if
if you're looking for things to pick up and stock up on, um, right now at Jewel, if you buy one of these, you get another one of, if you buy one of these, you get another one of these for free. And I believe the total cost for the two is $7, which means you're getting almost a pound. I think it says 14 ounces. You're getting almost a pound of um, healthy food for $3.50 um, before tax. Um, so these I've already cooked, these Young's for Pollock fillets. Um, I've already cooked them. They're right here in this plate. And I'm going to take this Frank's Red Hot Sauce, shake it up. Load it into the uh, fish fillets. Okay. Then I've got this O Organics Portobello Mushroom um, Pasta Sauce. It doesn't have to go on pasta. It's not going to go on pasta tonight. Tonight it's going on fish. Fish fillets. This is one of my favorites. So that's about half a jar. Now what I like about this is I'm getting a whole lot of lycopene. Um, and lycopene is good for brain health as are mushrooms too. So this has both mushrooms and um, um, the tomato lycopene, or the lycopene from the tomatoes. But one thing that I've been learning as I read up on brain health is that leafy greens, um, which have a lot of iron, or I should say it this way, foods that have a lot of iron, um, if you consume that iron in the same meal that you consume the lycopene, um, the iron is going to render the lycopene not very bioavailable. In other words, you know, the lycopene is going to give your, your body benefits, provided you don't add iron-rich food in that meal. And these leafy greens would be iron-rich, so that's why Yesterday, this was one meal, and today I'm trying to get as much lycopene, as much benefits from the lycopene as I can, so I'm avoiding leafy greens in this meal. Um, just something to consider if, if you're trying to get the most bang for your buck, if you're trying to get the most nutrition that you can from the things that you're bringing into your household, you don't want to combine your lycopene, your tomato paste, with leafy greens because the leafy greens will basically deactivate the lycopene and make it not available to your body. So just something to consider. Um, but my dinner is ready and I think I've said everything that I wanted to say in this video. Um, if you've got a jewel around, or I'll, I'll put in, if, if the Monopoly game, let me go get that Monopoly game real quick. Okay, that was worthwhile. So here's the Monopoly game. You can see here, Jewel Osco. That's the store that I go to because that's what we have here in Illinois. But they also go by the name of Amigos. Or there's a good chance that if you have any of these other stores in your neighborhood, that um, these stores are likely to carry the same kind of things like the portobello mushrooms over there and the O Organics uh, spinach and the Bibigo um, um, pot stickers. 
Um, so here's here's the other stores that are likely to have that. Amigos, Vons, Albertsons, Safeway, Randall's, Market Street, Pavilions, Shaw's, Star, Cars, Tom Thumb, United Supermarkets, Acme, and Eagle. Okay, that's it. That's really all I wanted to say for this uh, video. Um, good luck stocking up on things. Um, and again, the, uh, the fish sticks, these Young's po Pollock fillets in crispy batter, 14 ounces worth of good fish. Um, and they even come from England. Um, because they're on sale of buy one get one free yeah, uh, it's an excellent time to try them out and because it's normally seven dollars you're getting almost a pound of food for what is it three three dollars and fifty cents um, I think I think most people would agree that that's a pretty good deal so something to, to consider if you're, if you're not sure what would be a good thing to stock up on for this uh, coronavirus, the um, COVID-19, and um, the troubles that it might be causing with our, our um, supply, our food supply. Um, my recommendation would be give these a try at one of these stores, or maybe you can find another store that carries it. Um, but they probably these stores are most likely to have the buy one get one free deal whereas the other stores that are not on this monopoly sheet are l much less likely to be having that same deal right now that's it have a good night bye